When it comes to electrical vertical takeoff and landing aircraft and urban air mobility, automotive manufacturers have been cautious despite their advancements in battery technology and electric powertrain. However, the world's largest automaker Toyota has made its move by investing in Joby Aviation while Hyundai, the third largest automaker, has introduced its own four-seater EV doll under its Supernal brand. Given Honda's extensive involvement in mobility from automobiles to marine vehicles and their tendency to invest in cutting technologies, many expected the company to enter this space. And indeed it has. However, Honda has kept its plans under wraps, revealing little until recently. In October 2024, eyebrows were raised when Honda received clearance from the FAA to develop its eVTOL prototype. This marked a clear shift signaling Honda's commitment to developing an eVTOL aircraft. Interestingly, Honda had released a concept video three years earlier showcasing a rendered eVTOL design. However, due to its animated nature, it seemed more like a visionary concept than an actual project. Now it's evident that Honda wasn't just observing from the sidelines, it was actively working on this aircraft. Unlike most eVTOL developers opting for tilt rotor configuration, Honda has chosen a Lift Plus Cruise design. Why Lift Plus Cruise? In a tilt rotor system, a malfunction could lead to critical failures as the same rotors handle both lift and cruise. On the other hand, with separate rotors for lift and cruise, there's a backup system in place enhancing flight safety. Another manufacturer, Autoflight, with its Prosperity eVTOL, has also embraced Lift Plus Cruise and their aircraft is ahead in their development cycle compared to most competitors. The downside of this design is once the forward flight is achieved, the lift rotors become dead weight and increase drag. This results in higher energy consumption compared to tilt rotor systems. To counteract the additional energy demand, Honda has opted for a hybrid power system rather than relying solely on batteries. The hybrid system includes a small battery pack as a buffer, but the primary source is a gas turbine generator that ensures higher energy output and extended range. Honda claims that this hybrid setup enables a range of 400 kilometers, approximately 250 miles, suitable not only for intracity, but also city to city travel. This project isn't Honda's first venture into aviation. The company's HA420 Honda Jet, a light business jet, has been widely praised and earned multiple accolades. Honda is leveraging its expertise both from Formula One racing and aerospace engineering to develop its EV tool. Honda has stated, F1 technologies, both tangible and intangible, have also been incorporated into the development of our EV tool including F1 power unit technology applied for ultra-high RPM generator, as well as simulation analysis technology and facilities for aerodynamic development. Racing chassis technologies are also applied to Honda eVTOL as the speed range and airflow turbulence are closer to those of F1 machines than to passenger airplanes. Honda had in the past collaborated with GE to develop the HF120 turbofan engine used in the Honda Jet. The aerodynamic and combustion expertise gained from this project is now being applied to gas turbine generator development for eVTOL aircraft. It is anticipated that this generator unit would provide over a megawatt of power. Similarly, Honda's experience in hybrid power unit from Formula One racing, where a compact gas turbine generator is used, is helping in optimizing batteries, motors, and energy management for its EV toll. From the little details released by Honda, their EV toll has the following design. There are eight lifting propellers mounted on two booms. 
There are two separate ducted fans at the rear for thrust. It has a high main wing and a canard, just like the Autoflight Prosperity. It has a capacity of four passengers plus one pilot, that is a total seating for five. The overall dimensions and weight remain undisclosed. One major advantage Honda holds over other eVTOL startups is the experience in certification. The company already has been granted four patents for its eVTOL related to power supply and optimization, heat dissipation, energy management, trust and directional control technology. It's exciting to see Honda officially enter the eVTOL race. Honda has always delivered quality products and advanced technology in every sector they have touched. With their background in aviation, Formula One and hybrid powertrains, the company is in a strong position to develop a practical and efficient urban air mobility solution. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something new from this, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.